So let's go to release 12. In release 12, it is fully automated. I'll run through the same example. We've covered all the theory, so now we should be able to see what's going on. Connect Scott Tiger. Look at the parameters, the same parameters, and I'll set them to true, like so. I'm working the Scott schema again, so let's see what happens. Enable the auto trace, run my code, and we've generated a baseline for my query that joined M to Dept based on a full table scan. Right. And if we look at the SQL management base, we'll see basically the same thing. There's my statement, there's the plan, and that's the plan that is accepted. Now I'll make my change, create my index. What do my end users think? They run the code, and they see, of course, no difference. And if we look at the SQL management base, with my query against that, going to DBA SQL plan baselines, we see the same situation. I've now got two versions of the same statement. And the new one is not accepted. Is it better or worse? Should it be accepted? I don't know. And I've got to go and detect that and test it. Except that this is release 12. Release 12 has a major enhancement in that the method is totally automatic. There is a new auto task job that by default will run every night. And this will happen automatically when you upgrade to 12. This job will be enabled when you run. Now, I don't want to wait until tomorrow to see if the auto task detects that new plan and verifies it. So what I'm going to do is force Oracle to do it now. What I'm going to do now is tell the scheduler that it's Thursday night. So I'm telling the database scheduler that it's now Thursday night. Done. So it's now Thursday night, as far as my database is concerned. And right now, jobs should be running, including the job that will detect this new plan and verify it. So let us now advance to Friday morning. So to tell the database it's Friday morning, I'll close the Thursday night maintenance window. There are, by the way, big changes with maintenance jobs in 12, but we deal with that elsewhere in the course. So it's now Friday morning. My end users come into work, and they run their application. There's the application. And bingo! It's using the index. And this is like magic. It means that any change, because of statistics, because of parameters, because of applying patch sets, because of inverting to rack, because of upgrading to 12, any change is blocked. It's held back for 24 hours, maybe, until the nighttime job runs. The nighttime job detects the new plans, tests them, and enables them automatically. Of course, you as a DBA, you want to see what's going on. And there is a new function call in DBMS SPM. The new function call report evolved or report auto evolve task. And that will tell you what happened. And a good DBA will run this function every morning to see what happened in the night. So let's find out what the task actually did. Again, because it's a lob, a C lob, I'll have to oops, configure my environments. Set long. 10,000, and then see what the automatic task actually did. Select DBMS SPM, report auto evolve task from Dior. So what happened in night, the night was all of this. Right, there's the function call. Again, you can tune all this. It detected a new plan number of plans process one. Of course, if you've updated from 11 to 12, it won't detect one new plan, it will detect 10,000. But in this case, it's found just the one. There it is. And it's done the test. It's decided that the new plan is better than the old one, apparently two and a quarter times better. And hey, presto, 
it's now enabled. It gives you the code to enable it manually if you wish. And there's more information about the change in plan. So that is the fantastic enhancement. And I can't emphasize strongly enough, this is really important for your 12C upgrade. It will stabilize the system. So enable 12 SQL plan management in 11, run your application for a few weeks, upgrade to 12, there'll be no change. But as time goes by in release 12, the new job will run, it will test all the new plans, and performance will improve. John, a question about additions. Is this standard edition uh, two or enterprise edition only? Enterprise. Enterprise only. In standard edition, you are stuck with stabilizing the system with stored outlines. 